Well, today I'm going to bring you to the site, finally. My mid-century modern house site. Uh, today, they are starting work. But I will just give you a rough run-through of uh, what is going to happen for this house. To craft that perfect mid-century modern house. He he he. Can't wait for that one. Let me bring you there. Okay, so this is very different from the last time I came. What happened was, we opened up this wall. Okay. So that we are essentially, and we opened up this wall. This wall. So we are essentially combining this room and this room to become one room. Okay, so what happened also is that previously, this was the master bedroom. This was the second bedroom. Okay. But, but, um, my client wanted a walk-in wardrobe. So the plan now is to turn this into a walk-in wardrobe. Why I open it up? Okay, I'll show you. So previously, uh, there was wardrobe there. Okay, because it's a standalone room, uh wardrobe there so what we did was to remove so that we open up the space so that here we can have a king size bed all right so the second bedroom now becomes the master bedroom with a king size bed and this bedroom but i have this wardrobe which i feel we can retain right because we are going to use this portion this portion to be the rest of the wardrobe so there will be a l-shaped open wardrobe here and how you assess or how you come in is through a glass door and glass door but then here uh, not glass door this is fixed panel glass this will be glass door to assess this walk-in wardrobe okay so after putting in the walk-in wardrobe, right? We're going to have a small, a very small armchair of sorts, huh? so that my client can sit here and admire her full-size walk-in wardrobe. This is her little fantasy, lah, huh? So this one, the light is already there, ma. So I thought, if we use this place, this this area to be the walk-in wardrobe, right? Then we can retain this to be part of the walk-in wardrobe. We just need to change out the laminate to gel with the rest of the L-shaped wardrobe. So it's a little uh, planning here and there. Lah, okay. Also, this space, we will eventually... Okay, so this is the interesting part. This portion is the walkway, right? So, Penlai, this is entrance to the room. Ah. But now, we are going to use this area, this area, this area, to be a hidden storage with a display niche. So it's a um, clever use of space because uh, this house does not have much storage space. So we have to kaki create. So that is the plan. Ah. So this part, I'm very pleased with this whole idea because I think it's... Uh, intelligent yet you can't really tell that it's a storage eventually i will show you guys uh when it's done so i will stand in another vantage point to see this whole thing okay. this space looks so much better now that we have opened up the space i am so glad so glad so glad that we are doing this super glad so eventually right this will be fixed glass panel and there will be a, a glass door leading into the bedroom so likely we need to shift lah, you know to make sure that the entrance we will seam the bed because it's a king size bed so it's so huge plus the fact that you know behind the bed we are going to have this uh, feature wall of sorts 
so it's going to take up some more thickness hence the whole bed will be pushed forward that's why luggy right imagine here push forward already push forward already we need to have the door siam the bed ma. so the door may have to change uh, shift slightly to the left so this one I'll leave it to my contractor to work it out as for all the bathrooms right we are not touching because uh, still pretty new so don't touch lah. but if you ask me I mean condo toilets are pretty standard law but this one is already considered nice I've seen worse ones so I have no issue with leaving this untouched so the other aspect of this place is this this is the study so we are going to build a full height cabinet that you can access by ladder so that we can fully utilize this whole space this uh this condo has high ceiling but i suddenly cannot remember the the height already okay very high so it helps to um, maximize our usage of space you know squeeze and milk every inch la. as for the lighting and all that we're not going to have this kind of light la. <laughs> we're going to have proper nice lighting to light up this whole space so this walkway is going to be transformed now it's already transformed given that we open up the space right the light is already flooding in like so much so i'm very pleased but the main thing about this house is probably the living room because my plan is to create one giant nook okay with um, veneer strips so it's gonna look very retro very mid-century modern but yet there's a raised platform okay so that the space will be elevated a bit to give it that that more complete look lah but but uh floor wise we are not going to be standard about it so we are going to overlay the entire floor with having bone vinyl floor which will be so chill so imagine throughout ah, having bone pattern vinyl flooring and here this is our tv wall i will have a full fireplace full as in fake ah, fake fireplace that um is actually the tv console okay so it's going to be from floor to ceiling hence your eyes will be drawn up to see this whole thing lah. and um, then the space will appear bigger because it's more it's taller ma. so that is the big plan for this living room I stand further than you all can see okay. last but not least the balcony balcony uh, actually is a matter of zheng ying to look nice only la. we are going to do composite decking then after which i will buy a nice mid-century modern lounge chair or armchair and then they can lounge around and then you know look at the greenery outside which i think is very chill la. i mean i would like to sit here uh, with a glass of wine or beer and just walk, watch the lao gao swing around there are a lot of lao gaos here swing from tree to tree although technically i don't know whether you can really catch one lao gao here but should have lah so many i mean it's always along the roads yeah, so i love this place uh, all these all you see are brand new wardrobes that we ripped out from the various rooms i mean i i feel bad for all this wood lah they are they're brand new and not used yet we ripped them out
but this space is really 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 too tiny already so although it is chanren we have to do it otherwise how can we craft the dream mid-century modern home right now it's so much better already so no regrets no regrets so main thing is we try not to touch the aircons which is the main point because once you shift the aircons right um, the warranty will be void so I don't want the warranty to be void lah for my clients so we try not to shift all this so whatever we plan um, is also we have to think long term the implications so like this also not touching aircon not touching so I have to make sure I think and do things that won't uh, cause further concerns down the road one hence planning is important la. Oh. so yeah as you can see I am mighty pleased mighty mighty pleased for opening up the space it makes so much of a difference like so much long it's crazy so subsequently we will start to do the necessary uh, carpentry works and create my nook and the full fireplace as well as all the walk in wardrobes and stuff okay. um, it's going to be nice lah, as usual <laughs> I won't say that my it, I won't say my design is not a nice one so uh, hopefully everything goes smoothly from here can't wait especially all this can't wait to see all the glass panels up with the black frame and I can't wait to see all the paneling done so there will be paneling here throughout that wall okay? throughout that wall street paneling that is very uh, significant or, or rather uh, very signature of mid-century modern view so can't wait signing off bye <laughs>